Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Table and Plate Project Delta podcast. Each place has its own culture and vibe, and you're joining me, Dr. Ellen Harris, as I learn, explore, discover, experience, and talk about food and culture in the Mississippi Delta. Today, I'm so happy to share a remote conversation space with Sheila Howard. Welcome, Sheila. To get us started, please tell me a little bit about yourself. You're a native Mississippian, right? Yes, I am a native of Mississippi. I'm born and raised in the Mississippi Delta area. I am um, 45. I actually um, went to school to study uh, my culture more in the Mississippi Delta area and the um, food and water that we consume and to um, pretty much learn the depth of a lot of things that um, we become accustomed to in my area. Okay. So are you from Greenville or uh, another part of the Delta? I'm actually born in, born in Scotts, Mississippi, maybe 30 miles north of Greenville. Okay. But uh, my mom moved here when I was in the fifth grade, and so I've been here for uh, almost 40, well, 30 some years. Okay. All right. Well, I'm really happy that you're joining me today. Uh, I haven't had a um, a remote uh, conversation in a long time uh, via the podcast because since this pandemic thing, I was so I'm so used to doing things in person, and this remote stuff just was not. I just wasn't feeling it. So I really appreciate you uh, joining me today. Um, I miss seeing you uh, at our Saturday yoga class. Um, I sure hope that we'll be able to do that sometime soon. But um, I've been really pleased to see what you've been up to these past few months via social media, and uh, that's why I invited you to uh, come on with me today uh, to share your journey regarding uh, food, health, and wellness, and what you're doing in the juicing area. So I'm just going to open it up to you, and and you share what you want to about what you've been up to these past few months. Thank you. And again, thank you for having me. Um, So over the past few months, um, right before the pandemic had taken place, well, during the pandemic, I um, started a small project of my own with Barton because um, I wanted to stay in more of an organic or natural uh, environment Mm -hmm. when it came to um, associating with my juices. So um, during this this, um, pandemic, I decided to uh, research a little more on on things that we could do to try to eliminate uh, mucus from the immune system. Mm-hmm. And um, I pretty much, um, was, it was a passion of mine due to the fact that I had um, was having, like, different symptoms, but I knew that I can control them with what I was putting in my mouth. Mm-hmm. And so I was pretty much stay away from a lot of solid, solid, solid food that, uh, would, that would cause a lot of mucus in the body. And I more or less started juicing for about 14 days because my sinus was bothering me and uh, I got congested and I didn't want to go to the hospital because of the pandemic. So I created my own regimen with um, the shots that I would get right in the kitchen cabinet because we really wasn't getting out or wasn't able to get out due to the um, pandemic again and so I I pretty much had my medicine in my cabinet and I just started researching and doing different samples with myself and realizing that I could um, actually heal myself and the body was designed to heal itself and the thing about it was I think um, I, I was more in fear of the unknown because it was something that was totally new to us but not knowing that I had all the materials that I needed um, that was within my reach. And so I started juicing and I would 
you know, do simple things like the, the different shots and the music and what, will come out. And, and, and what, when you say shots, what, what does that mean? What, what so, types of juices were you doing? So um, I was basically just taking powdered turmeric or turmeric and ginger, and I would mm-hmm. get like a sprinkle of black pepper and um, some coconut water or either mm-hmm. coconut milk and or almond milk, and I would put it like in a and simmer it and strain it. I simmer it for about five minutes, five or ten minutes, and then I would use a strainer to strain the excess. Um, um, uh, degree or the powder form you're from it mm-hmm. and I, I drink it maybe like in a two ounce glass and then after I do that maybe I, I drink water I was drinking water uh, 12 ounce glass of water first thing in the morning and after that I would wait maybe 30 40 minutes to an hour and I would drink uh, lemon water some people can mix would mix their turmeric shots with lemon but I wanted to do it different because it was so acidic okay and so when I finished that, I would pretty much just do me a melon drink, um, okay. cantaloupe, uh, I would say maybe a cantaloupe, uh, the honeydew, or whatever melon that was in season that I, you know, could get. Okay. And I juiced it. I, I would juice it, and before 12 noon, I was able to have a bowel movement because for some reason here in this area, in my in the cluster of people in this community, we suffer a lot with with um, having colon issues, mm-hmm. and it's again it's all dealing with mucus. And so um, I learned to listen to my body and what I need to use to eliminate the waste in my body so that it wouldn't cause me to have a lot of mucus in. Um, and I think that's why the hospital is like just overly crowded because of simple things that we can do, but we don't know how to do it. Like, again, I had everything that I needed in my cabinet. Okay. And so from that, you have evolved to making a lot of other juices and doing what with them? Correct. Um, I turned my passion into a business. I was pretty much just sharing information with some of my friends on social media, things mm-hmm. that they can do to uh, eliminate the mucus. And uh, a lot of people were saying that they didn't have time to do it. And with uh, so many um, out working and didn't have access to the machines, um, they would offer me a donation Mm -hmm. in in, in regard to me creating juices or, you know, giving juice to them. And so it went from that to me starting up my own business now with selling juices, natural juices. To okay. keep in my community. Okay. And so what types of juices are you selling? So uh, I have like four juices that I, that I sell. Uh, one is called the Heartbeat, B-E-E-T. Uh-huh. It, helps to, it helps with the circulation of the blood in the arteries, and it, it's also good for fibroids. That, the Heartbeat that I have, it helps uh-huh. to strengthen the fibroids that I was dealing with. When I went to my gynecologist, I had like a seven point something centimeter fibroid, but uh-huh. I started this regimen with the juicing, and when I went back to her, the, the fibroids had shrunk down to like two point some some odd numbers, okay. but they're starting to shrink on their own. And then I also have a juice called the Sunrise, where um, it helps with the immune system. It gives you a boost. It has it gives you great energy, and I have one called but Melanin. What, 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 what's in Sunrise? Okay, I'm sorry. And the sunrise is just the pineapple. Uh-huh. I have pineapple, ginger, and I also um, put coconut water. And I okay. actually get the, the the whole coconut and the meat. I grind it up, put it in a process, and, and, and to, it turns like a puree. And uh-huh. you can actually use it as a slush or either a, a juice. Go so ahead, little girl. Time, <laughs> yeah, well, so I don't want to use everything you can use. You know, you uh-huh. can use your pulp. You can use right. the pulp to create something that if you if you're fasting and you don't want any solid food and you want to strictly stick to the fruit because what the fruit does is eliminate a lot of waste in the body. Right. It's there to stimulate. It's it stimulates the body and the vegetables work well. But I don't compare my vegetables in my fruit together because it blows me. I'm only speaking for what it does to me. So okay. I don't know what it, how effective it was 
to my body, and mm-hmm. I realized that with me comparing comparing my fruits and vegetables together, it just didn't work. So, okay. um, so but any, however, they um, it helped me to lose a hundred pounds. I lost a hundred pounds on this journey. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! And, and uh, that that is amazing. So, how long have you been uh, doing this? I've been doing it since 2016. Okay, all right. So you you mentioned the heartbeat and sunrise juices, and so what are the other two juices that you're doing? I have another one called Tropical Island, and uh-huh. it consists of carrots and um, orange. Now okay. I can drink those together, even though we they some people say carrots it is a hyper. But we won't get into that now. I can tolerate that on my stomach. That's why I say it what works for me uh-huh. may not work for others. So I can, I mean, and it and it helps me as far as my eyesight because it has so many uh, nutritional values in it. Uh-huh. And I also have one called the melanized, and the one that I mentioned earlier to you about the melon. That uh-huh. was a, a a melon. I don't mix it with anything because it doesn't need anything else to, to go with it because it's, it's diuretic and it works well by itself. This is only for me for about four or five years, how effective it has been for me. Okay. So, so when you say the melon, so the melon juice, does that change with whatever melon is available um, per season or are you just using one type of melon? No, no, no. It, 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 it's, the melons is all for the season, so I can use the can- whatever they have in, in at the grocery store and produce uh-huh. um, that's available for me. I would use it because it's a melon. Any melon that you use is diuretic, and it would actually help to use the, to the restroom. It helps okay. cleans out the colon. Okay. All right. All right. So you started this small business, and are you uh, are you uh, selling things in the immediate area, or how how are you doing it? Are you are people picking up, or are you delivering, or or what? So I deliver. I they pick up, and I would mail, send it off. Um, as far as I've um had my juices to go was Atlanta, Georgia, Memphis, okay. Tennessee, the Jackson, Mississippi area, and here at, where the Auckland Miss because I have some 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 uh, customers in the state of Arkansas who comes uh-huh. over and they will purchase or um, I have a cousin who works in that area. She will place the orders there and, and I get them ready for it within a day or two. And so I have the Arkansas area as well and the um, surrounding area throughout the Mississippi Delta. I had my first um, vendor at uh, a church here in Greenville, Mississippi, Grace Outreach Bible Church. There uh-huh. was a speaker who a speaker who had come here maybe two weeks ago, and he wanted to uh, touch bases on Eat to Live and just wanted to reach the community or the people in this area that because he had done a research on how we are high in diabetes, heart disease, and different uh, right. elements that, that, that plague the body. And so I did my first pop-up there, and I think I made maybe 100 juices. And I pretty much doubted myself on because I didn't think a lot of people in this area knew much about how effective juicing, juicing can be for the body. Uh-huh. And um, I went there. I sold out twice, and I had to go back home, come back, and kind of, like, work some things okay. together, and they were just, just blown away. And my phone has been just ringing off the hook ever since from all over St. Louis, uh, Virginia, because all of these people had come down to this um, the conference that had uh-huh. taken, the evening they had taken place. And so ever since then, it's just like I've been busy, busy, busy. Oh my goodness! Well, I am so I'm so proud of you, Sheila. Thank that, you. That sounds wonderful. Uh, I remember when we did. I mean, God, it's been over a year that we did that community event, and uh, you had the the juicing demonstration, and uh, to to hear. From there to what you're doing now, I, I, I think it's really wonderful. And uh, you've taken uh, something that was a personal activity and elevated it to something that's useful in the community and, and created a small business around it. 
So I I give you all kinds of kudos. Um, I I think it's wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And so I understand you're probably ripping and running uh, even today. I am. (laughs) I got some orders from Memphis. I have orders from Memphis and Cleveland right now at this moment. So, yeah, I guess so. But that's a perfect segue for us to end so that you can get about doing your business. So, again, I really appreciate you, girl, and I hope to see you sometime down the road um, where uh, we can get together to do yoga or just commiserate and what have you. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for having me. You take care. All right. You take care, too. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye.